channel I am Rajasri and today I am going to show you how to solve this program variadic function in C. So the let's read the problem statement. Variadic functions are functions which take a variable number of argument. So here are three functions given sum, mean and max and the it will take variable number of arguments uh, here as you can see the function prototype int count comma dot 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 here the three dot is called ellipsis and the preceding variable count is uh, indicates the count the number of variables it might be variable so it indicates the variable number of arguments so uh, here in the declaration the declaration of a variadic function starts with the declaration of at least one name variable and uses an ellipsis as the last parameter. So here we can see the function prototype given in the question itself. In this problem, we will implement three variadic functions named sum in mean and max to calculate sums minimum and maximum of variable number of arguments. Uh, so the input format is at first the first line of the input consists of integer number of test cases. Then each test case tests the logic of your code by sending a test implementation of 3, 5 and 10 elements respectively and then the input format goes like that. We don't need to worry about the input format because it's already done, it's already implemented for us here in Hacker Rank. We just need to do finish the function part. So let's start doing it. At first, uh, let's initialize a variable sum equals to 0 where we will store the sum in sum equals to 0. Then, then we will use the type va list, va underscore list, and let's give the name list. So, va list is a macro which helps us to declare a list which can store variable number of arguments. So, va list is that type which indicates that list can store variable number of arguments. Now, va start va start is another macro which accepts two arguments the first one is the variable argument list here it is list list and then the number of arguments here it is given as count uh, count is the variable which precedes the ellipsis you can see the function prototype count is that variable which precedes the ellipsis so after that let us iterate through the list for int i equals to 0, i less than count i plus plus. Then let's take a variable num to extract each uh, values from the list each time we uh, go through it and store that particular value from the list. How to do that? Using va arc. VA arc is another macro which takes two argument one is the list and other is the data type which we want to extract here the data type is int so we will extract each integer each time it is called it will extract the next integer so here we extracted the first i equals to zero num now we will add this num uh, the value of the variable num in the sum variable so sum plus equals to num so after i equals less than count, uh, when i will be less than count, the sum will be over, okay. So after the loop gets over, we need to clean the list. So va int within bracket list, we give to clean it. And what we will return, we will return the sum, return sum. Similarly, in mean and max also, we will do the same thing. Let us copy from the sum part. Sum in mean, we will need to have a logic for finding the minimum value from the list. So what logic we can have? Try, try. Okay. So instead of sum, we need a variable called mean. And what should be the value of mean the value of mean should be max element m a x max e a d a d n t now why the value of mean variable is max element because 
here we have to find the minimum value from the list of integers so each time we compare the value of the list with this max element it will uh, check the condition if the min value is less than the max element and if it is less than the max element then it will update the min variables value so at the end of the iteration when the iteration gets over the value left with min will be the lowest element or the smallest element in the list and that's how we will perform this minimum operation so let's uh, implement the logic here inside the loop let's delete uh, okay again let's take the variable int num equals to int num equals to var list comma int we will copy it from this sum function um, let's paste it so it will extract the next element from the list and then check the condition if um, if this num is less than mean update the value of mean mean equals to num this way at the end of the iteration at the end of the loop the minimum var mean variable will have the smallest value so similarly uh, we will clean the list using va end and then return return what return mean okay now we will copy it again for the max function and paste it in the max function and instead of mean we will have the variable named max and we will assign the max variable with mean element m i n e l e m e n t so each time we compare this num with the max element we will see if it is greater than this minimum element and if the integer from the list is greater than this minimum element then we will update the max variable and at the end of the loop uh, we will be left with the largest element from the list okay so if num is greater than max we will update max max equals to num okay so again uh, we will clean the list and then we will return max so if everything is right hope it's right let's run it okay so it's correct as we can see test case view is correct let's submit it to see whether all the test case has passed or not okay all the test cases have passed so thanks for watching my video have a nice day